So guys, right now, we are on Sambar Lake. If you look at this side, you won't see anything. If you look at that side, you won't see anything here either. And right now it is 8 in the night. In part 1 of the video, you saw how we came here and by the time we came here, it was 8 o'clock. So guys, now the challenge begins. And when we had left from there, we had not eaten anything. On the way also, we just had a few snacks, nothing else. So guys, how dangerous this place is. You will only get to know tomorrow morning in the daylight. And how beautiful it is, that also you will get to know tomorrow in the daylight. Rest as far as the eye can see. Desolate. Even if someone is killed and left here, nobody will get to know. And today we are going to do here 24 hours challenge. So you already know that within 10 minutes, whatever we could grab, we brought that along. And also because there is salt here, that is creating a lot of problems. Oh man, why are all these mosquitoes getting attracted to me? Get off. Guys, it is going to be epic. By tomorrow, I'm sure that many of us will want to give up. But one thing that is here is silence. Look, hey, keep quiet everyone. Absolute silence. There's nothing else here, guys. And when the daylight breaks, then you guys just see the beauty of this place. Eat this right now. Okay, give me some too. <laughs> Look at the mud on car. This is salt mixed with the mud. <laughs> we wanted to make chili tomato. But we forgot the chili is there in the shop. <laughs> Will these many tomatoes be enough? Let's put hey, one no apple, apple as well. Hey, are you cooking <laughs> veggies or something else? <laughs> now the pan is on the stove. It will be fun if we add an apple to the veggies. <laughs> if we fall short, we'll make some more. <laughs> Guys, please go ahead and shower him with abuses. I can't do it, but you please go ahead. He's of no use. All he does is eat, drink and then just lie down. So guys, our veggie curry is ready here. When you look at it, it looks like a potato and tomato curry, but these are not potatoes. These are apples we had chopped. Oh man, it's hot. Hmm, apple, it tastes like apple salad. Roti, puri, veggies. We have just made these many rotis and Let's later, <laughs> they're fighting over the veggies. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, if I tell you the truth, I mean, we reached here at 8 o'clock and cooking the food and getting everything done. The time is now about uh, 12 o'clock at night. Around us. I can hear some noises. What noises? I don't know. I can hear something from there, man. Some weird kind of sounds. Where is it? No, no, we don't need to. <laughs> this won't be required. Keep it huh? away. I mean, <sighs> come with me. I will tell you. So the place that we are at, so guys, anything can happen right here. Wild animals or anything else. So my mind is occupied with shooting the video and sharing things with you. Vikram is telling me that he can hear some sounds it's from true, there. It's true. Is it really coming? Yes, it's true. We're yes, not we'll check it out. See, yeah. Yes, let's go. At any point, please remember that if you're alone, then you should not trust anybody. So since Vikram Mota is saying, let's check it out. In case we shout or if you can hear us, because the network here isn't really great, okay? Some of us have Airtel sims and some have Geo. Geo has no network at all here, guys. Man, you're something else. I don't know what kind of noises you managed to hear. Man, I could hear some sound. There is nothing here. <laughs> guys, there is definitely one thing. This place here is really absolutely desolate. I mean that it is spread so far and wide that over here, I mean, you can shut your eyes and drive the car. Just look. It is night time. I have closed my eyes. My foot is on the accelerator. No matter where I turn the steering, the car will keep on running. See, it keeps moving, keeps moving, keeps moving. I can put on my seatbelt with my eyes closed. Look. Oh no. Oh, oh I didn't. Mean, oh, animal. Listen, Dilraz is out there 
and he's no one cares he's in the car hey it isn't like that i'm saying what i meant to say is that they went to scout around for any wild animals so if there are any wild animals we should become okay, aware okay but we should be checking up on them it's just dilraj and vikram and the rest of the team is here oh, what if something I happens really, where is the key to the car hey man hey, we should at least keep the vehicle running man man Come be on, patient man. Hey, oh man they are shouting oh, man hey, where's the car where's the car hey, hey, hey. come from hey, hang on the car we have the car with us hey hey run save yourself hey 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 <laughs> run away from here hey hey, hey. run away hey. quickly run away from here there is a lion here run hey, hey run man स Okay that's enough that's enough sit inside sit inside quickly <laughs> Do you think our voices would have reached them or not Let me switch on the light Do you think our voices reached them or not Definitely, Definitely. <laughs> Come on now let's get back okay Yes Oh my god They are here <laughs> they are coming <laughs> here only Hey hey, hey whoa. whoa What whoa. happened What happened Hey what happened, what, hey. what what happened what what huh? <laughs> what happened what what happened <laughs> hey did huh? you hear our voices yes yes yes, yes we could yes, hear you hey. you are roaming around with the camera yes <laughs> you are not supposed to make such jokes late in the night it's such a desolate <laughs> place <laughs> didn't even finish our meal we just left and ran just ran okay now just follow us no worries okay yes let's go let's go we were just joking so chill brother took us for a ride nah, this is not fair Not fair, not uh, fair. Hundred percent wrong. Not at all. Hundred percent wrong. Okay, guys. So get to bed. All of you sleep good night, now. Good night. Good night. I'm going to sleep. Good night. I'm sleeping. Good night. Hey, we are also sleeping. Good night. Where are you sleeping? <laughs> Where? <laughs> He is out there among us. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. So, guys, I am unable to sleep. I'm feeling quite uncomfortable. Look at them. They are sleeping so peacefully. Are you up, man? Yes. Oh, so guys, the sun is rising, and the others are still asleep. Get up, guys! Get up, guys! Look at the awesome view there. Just let me sleep for another five minutes. Wake up! Wake up! How is the sun rising Let's from there? Let's complete the challenge, man. That's the fun. Man, I'm telling you the truth. I haven't been able to sleep all night. One thing here is that sometimes it is hot and sometimes it is cold. It was hot, so I slept outside. And after that, it got too cold suddenly. Let me wash my face because I'm still a bit groggy. I haven't slept enough. <laughs> Much better now. But guys, now whatever we do, we'll have to do it quickly because right now it is still early morning. It is not too sunny at the moment, but once the sun is out, it will become extremely difficult. Hey, wake up! Wake up! Wake up now! Hey come on come on bro get up get up <laughs> wake up <laughs> all right guys all set so now we will show you sambar lake <laughs>
Everyone's out of energy. <laughs> Nobody has any energy left. So sit quickly. Let's go further and further into the desolate areas. Everything around here today belongs to us. It's just us here. The salt and also the sun god. Come on, let's go. this now guys this is Sambar Lake man as far as the eye can see it's just the lake it's just the sea a sea of salt and guys right now it is the rainy season that is why there is water up till here otherwise oh my oh guys look at this here <laughs> the soil here is completely different. See, look. <laughs> and guys, look at all of that. Look at that side. No matter where you see, there is no one apart from us here. The only thing here is the sea of salt. Hey boys, let's quickly set up the tents and the camp right here. So guys, finally we have set up our tents. We had brought the tea leaves, the sugar, but milk is spoiled. There is no fridge here, so the milk that we had brought is spoiled. The condition here is so bad that the fresh bananas that we had brought here yesterday, look at how they have become now. And these utensils that we had used last night, we are confused that if we wash them, then we will run out of water. And if we don't wash them, then what will we cook our food in? <laughs> update we can't seem to find our car anywhere as far as we can see <laughs> usually not everyone drives that car because they are afraid of banging it up somewhere but this place is so huge that they have taken it there look they're far away i don't know if you're able to see them or not he's out now and he's out too guys look at this two seas are meeting with each other okay this is the dry sea and this is the wet sea should we walk around our feet are sinking into the mud right here there could be one problem that if there is quicksand up ahead, then no one will be able to save us. Really guys, just look. <sighs> look, all around us just, oh man. Just look at all of this, oh my god. <sighs> there is nothing and no one around. Now look at Balbir, he's leaving his footprints behind, look. Look at this. Proof. Proof. Oh. Guys, look at this now. We have been walking and have come so far. It looks as if we are about to go die. <laughs> look at this, guys. Water. Look at this now. The water here is much more. And now look at its color. This is absolutely unique, man. Look. Have you ever seen something like this? I have never seen it. Look. It is completely unique. An absolutely unique scene. Hey, don't go too far ahead. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to taste the water here a little bit to see how it is, okay? So I'm going to dip my finger in this. Although generally, this water is not fit enough to drink for us. But still, there is no harm in tasting it a bit. <laughs> it's simple, it's salty water.
वी कैन फाइनली कुक बट माई कंडीशन इज क्वाइट बैड गाइज वॉट आर वी कुकिंग द कुकिंग राइस वाइट राइस आई एम है रियली बैड वन लुक एट दिलराज इज लिविंग अंडर कार बिकॉज इट्स हॉट इन साइड टेंट The guy is living on the steering itself. He is not stretching guys, himself out. The condition is quite severe. The main thing is there are no trees here, so the only shade is under the car. At least I'm sleeping in the corner. Look at Vikram. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite bad state of affairs, man. Uh, let's eat something first, and then we will drive the car around. It will be super fun to race the car around here. I don't know if the rice is cooking or not, but we are definitely cooking under the sun. Mote, this is no fun, Mote. So guys, we have to bring our own fun. Fun is not going to come to us. It is such a vast expanse man we have the cars with us both are powerful beasts let's drive them right mote come on let's burn some rings into the ground come on get out from under there or i'll drive the car over you get out fast <laughs> we are all getting tanned. We will all be getting nice tans, guys. I know everybody's skin tone here is going to change, and I'm surely uh, going to get loose motions. Since I'm walking here bare feet, I will definitely get diarrhea. There's no doubt about it. Now imagine if a person is just left alone here. They will die for sure. They will not get anything to eat or drink. They will die on their own. Look at the clear skies and the sun so bright just blazing down on us. So we have to somehow survive till 8 o'clock like this. We are roaming around from here to there just to kill time. Can't think of anything. The brain has stopped functioning. What can we do here? Where do we go from here? <laughs> I can hear echo. Hello? No. There's no echo. I can hear it. Guys when I'm speaking the voice is hitting against the car and rebounding because it is completely deserted till miles around desolate Can't find any place so Ravi is sitting down right here I'm feeling dizzy You're feeling dizzy Guys Ravi is feeling dizzy so do one thing go sit in the car Come on come on sit in the car <laughs> 
His brain isn't functioning. He can't drive a Fortuner. Still, he's sitting in the driver's seat. I hope the keys are not inside. No, no, he won't drive. <laughs> oh, man! What are you doing, man? I think he's quite unwell. Yeah. You must be thinking why I'm standing in the same place, but there's no way to go. There's nothing in any direction. Take another look. Look all around. There's nothing. So guys, he made everyone wait for so long. Everybody is roaming around with plates, saying "Feed us rice, feed us rice." So come on, guys, have some rice uh, in the blazing sun. These are miserable conditions. Man, put some rice, bro. Bro, give me some rice. How is it? It's a little low in salt. The rest of the fine. Salt is less. We are sitting in the sea of salt. Mix it with the soil and eat it. <laughs> everyone is looking so civilized, sitting together, eating. See, see everyone together. Our situation is quite alarming, guys. <laughs> so let the cameraman rest a little too. Guys, there's nothing to do, so we just sat in the car and now we are driving around aimlessly in this vast plain. Look, there goes a camper with a cloud of dust behind it. <laughs> the tent is behind us and we are following the van. Guys, never in our life have we ever let this beast become so dirty as you can see here. See how thick the layers of dirt are. And guys, we can't think of a single idea. About what to do around here? It is getting extremely difficult to bear even a single minute. Hey, we can only drive. So no matter where we go or how far we go, you probably can't even see the place we are camping at from here. We have come so far away, but still, no matter where you see, there is the sea of salt and nothing else. Horrible condition, guys. For the first time ever, seriously telling you. Will you take this? <laughs> no man, you keep it. <clears throat> Waiting for eight o'clock now. Feet are also burning. What else? <laughs> Guys, take one look at this man. <laughs> the hunt is coming down. So guys, all of us had gone to that side behind us to pee and all of that, and we had left Balveer behind. And Balveer is telling us that suddenly something strange has happened that we could have never expected. Guys, the place we had put up the tents, the place we had set up our camp, that is now filled with water. Man, how is this possible? I mean, just two to three hours ago we were sleeping there, there was nothing there, and now suddenly water. Impossible, man. Either he is joking or maybe it is true. I don't know. Guys, look. We are driving with full speed in a straight line, and up ahead we can see Balveer is moving the tents around. Man, what happened? How can this happen suddenly, man? Impossible. Look at this, guys, all around us. Oh my! What is he doing? Isn't it? Actually, there is water. I can really see the water. The water level has actually come up, guys. Look at this here. The water is slowly going up, and Balveer is moving the camp out of the way. Seriously, guys, take a look. Oh, oh man! Guys, <laughs> this is amazing! Look at this! Oh man, the water has actually come up. We were there earlier. Where were we? We were there earlier. Guys, see the tents were there earlier, and look at the water. Water is advancing slowly. Look, and there is a weird kind of froth. Guys, look at this now. This is seriously an exceptional scene, man. Oh my God, guys! Look, how is this happening? There was a hole, guys. A hole that we had dug in the beginning to fill it up with water, but no water came up, so we moved ahead. That hole is right here. Look at this. Look, just look, and look. Here are the footprints. We had gone from here. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! This lake is truly filled with many, many mysteries. Look at that. The water level just keeps going up, keeps going up and up. We are having to wind up the camp already. Now I feel happy coming here. I don't think that anyone else would have experienced this kind of a scene near Samba Lake ever. <sighs> hey Balveer, you were sleeping. How did you get to know? I could feel a cool breeze blowing towards me slowly. Then, <laughs> then I saw the water has come up right up to. Suddenly, time. so much water coming and there is no rain too. If it had been raining, I could have understood this. Hey boys, the skies are absolutely clear. See, it is going to be five soon. So now five, six, five. Six, seven, eight. Just three hours more. After that, after that, our challenge would be complete, and then we will be able to leave from here. We'll be able to drink water, and we are hungry, so we'll eat as well. Guys, guys, the water level is actually going up quite rapidly. I mean, look at that. You see, right there, 
That is where our tents were at that place. Now the level has gone up so much. And now we don't know till the time we are here where the water will advance to. Maybe it will come till here. So let's do one thing. Let's leave the cars parked right here and then let's see if the water comes up to the cars or not. This is really amazing to see. So now you can see that the cars are parked in the same place and the water has advanced completely beyond the camper. Reverse the fortune as well. Let me look at the time guys. What's the time? Guys, it is just 5:30 right now. A little over 5:30. It is approximately 5:30 and you can see how quickly the water level has risen. The water has come up till here guys. All our positions will become wet. Just a little more time to go and then our challenge will be completed. Take this forward guys. The water here refuses to stop advancing. Take it forward. Pick up the trash, pick up the trash. In the course of my life, I have made so many YouTube videos, I have done so many challenges, but for the first time, we have left a challenge incomplete. So guys for this challenge we had started at 8 o'clock in the night and we had to stay at that very ghost lake up till 8 o'clock the next night and we had almost managed to finish the challenge we had managed to approximately stay there till 6 there were just 2 hours left and if we had just spent 2 hours more our challenge of 24 hours would have been completed but in the middle of that something happened because of which we had to give up that challenge right there and the reason for that is come here <laughs> This guy here is our very own Ravi. So guys, let me tell you what happened there. So the sun was very hot. That Ravi here happened to get a heat stroke. And by the time it was 6, Ravi got a very high fever. And because of this, we... Now look, if someone from the team is sick and we end up focusing on the video, then that is not right. So what we did was we made it our very first priority to admit Ravi in a good hospital. It was necessary because if we stayed there at night till 8 o'clock and then left then maybe a lot of medical centers and clinics would have already shut down. So we quickly took Ravi and our dear Ravi was, tell them how many days you were in the hospital for. I was admitted for 4 days and I mean Sama Lake was the <laughs> toughest <laughs> challenge of my life. The toughest survival challenge. But now the best thing is that Ravi is absolutely fine. And guys, you take a look at how much hair I had at that time and how many are remaining. So I was really confused about whether to upload this uh, video for the public or not but Ravi said that he's absolutely fine now and everyone else said that we must share what happened with us with you people you yeah, can go. Right. so then what we did after so many days this video was recorded approximately two months ago and after two months we finally uploaded this video so guys, the only thing I want to say to you before I sign off, whichever place you go with your friends, make sure to get all the information about that place. Find out all the good and bad things about that place and only after that decide to go. However, I would like to say one more time that place, guys, was absolutely stunning. And the amazing thing that happened with us before this, I had never experienced something like this. The vibe was completely different. What happened was something I couldn't have ever imagined, neither my team members. So guys, that's it for today. It was just a matter of two hours, just two hours. Although we had actually managed to spend two hours there in that area, uh, looking for the doctors and hospitals, but uh, uh, it remains that the challenge was not completed. But no worries. The next time we will go to an even more amazing place, an adventurous place and we will do a challenge there. So that's it for today's video. We'll meet again in the next video with a new topic. Please do like. Not for me but for Ravi and for that place. The place is worth liking the video for sure. So that's it for today. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.